Good morning, YouTube. It is me again, your favorite Texas trucker. And I am in Ohio. I am uh, headed towards Missouri. I'll be crossing through Indiana. But uh, hopefully I can get this load off today. It's, it's not scheduled to get off until tomorrow. See if I can convince them to take me in the day. Um, you know, it, it, it's a huge difference in miles. If I get this load off today, I'll have 3,700 miles. If I get this load off tomorrow, I'll only have 2,600 and some change. You know, so that's a huge difference in my paycheck. So, uh, you know, I'm really hoping to get it off. Messaged me last night. One of the guys that uh, was planning to go to school here at Burleson pretty soon. And, uh, you know, and, and he watches my YouTube videos. And he asked me a question. And, uh, and, and so I want to address the issue. And when I was coming into school, into the Academy. You know, you got to pay $500 out of pocket, you know, $100 a month and $400 on the first day of school. Then you got to uh, sign a contract, you know, for a year's worth of work with the company in order to get half of your, your school loan forgiven. You know, and then you got to pay the other half out over, um, you know, over a uh, weeks, I think is what it comes up to, you know, and so, um, you know, when I started, uh, and I was looking at, at all the different options, I started thinking about taking shortcuts, you know, and, uh, and that's what this guy was, was sending me a message about, he wanted to know about these companies where you can rent your, to rent a truck to patch your CDL, right, it cost you about 250 bucks, and you can uh, rent a truck to get your CDL. So let me talk about that, and let me talk about why it's not a good idea. Okay, um, it's a, a matter of fact, it's a really, really bad idea. Um, these guys are capitalizing on desperate people, and they're making a lot of money um, because you will get your CDL. Um, you know, it's a fast track to getting a CDL um, as long as you can pass your written tests. Um, the rest of it is, you know, it's, it's simple. You're paying $250, and uh, they put you in an automatic truck that you don't have to worry about shifting with a 20-foot box trailer, all right? And, uh, and so that makes life a whole lot easier, okay? Uh, first, you don't have to worry about shifting. You don't have to learn how to double clutch. You don't have to, you know, learn how to downshift a semi, you know, uh, all the things that are important to uh, driving out here on the road, you don't have to learn. You don't have to go to school. You don't have to learn the laws. You don't have to learn the run log book. You don't have to learn how you know how to shift your tandems. You don't have to learn anything. Uh, you know, you just go up here. You pay these guys two hundred and fifty dollars, and they work with you for a day. Um, you know, in that day's time, they show you how to turn a, a truck with a twenty-foot trailer. Which trip inspection part of the test, you know, if you're in Texas, you know, you do that on the computer. Um, you don't do that as, as part of your skills test, you know, so, um, and then they walk you through back in the trailer and, you know, and, and give you a day's worth of practice. They get you good enough so that you can pass your CDL test. You go down and take your CDL test and, you know, if you if you have any kind of an aptitude, then you'll pass and you'll work away with your CDL. And, a lot of people are like, man, that's awesome. You know, I mean, I can, I don't have to go through all this school. I don't have to go through 160 hours in the classroom to learn how to drive a truck. You know, um, I can just walk in, pay $250, and in a week I can have my, I can have my, uh, my CDL. Right? And, and it sounds good. You know, it sounds great. It was really 
tempting for me when I was uh, coming into the trucking industry uh, because, I mean, it's a fast route, it's a shortcut, you know, and, and uh, when, when things were, were up in the air and I was still waiting on a final decision, you know, and, and uh, I was back and forth trying to get you know, copies of my taxes over here because, uh, you know, I was self-employed for the last five years. And, I had to verify my own employment, you know, and, and uh, I mean, it was just a, a mess, you know, and, and I didn't have any money, you know, I mean, I didn't have money to, to go down and, and uh, you know, uh, eat for, for three weeks while I was in school, you know, I didn't have money to go into debt for a hotel room and, and uh, you know, for uh, training, you know, I, I didn't have that kind of money, you know, I didn't have $400 to put down, so I started looking at, and shortcuts, but I'm the type of person where I never take anything on face value. I, I never take anything or anyone on face value. Uh, I, uh, I do a lot of research on everything that I want to do, and I did a lot of research on, on uh, that method of getting a CDL, and I'm glad I did. I chose not to do it. Now that I've been in the trucking industry for a while, now that I, I know how things operate here in the trucking industry, uh, now I know that was the worst thing that I could have ever done. It was the absolute fucking worst choice I could have made. I, I didn't know a lot of the things that I know today. You know, I've learned a lot since, I, since I've been out here. And now I know. Right? And here's the deal. I'm going to tell you why making a move like that is not a good idea. You're out here on the road, and, and let's say that you that you get your CDL through this company. You have no driving experience at all. Uh, you haven't been out in traffic. Uh, you ran a 20-foot box trailer, uh, whereas you know this job's going to require you to pull a 53-foot trailer. Uh, you, you ran that truck empty, never pulling a load. Whereas you get into one of these trucks, you're going to pull you know up to 80,000 pounds gross. You never had to shift because it's an automatic, but 90% of your trucking companies use uh, manual transmissions, so you don't know how to double clutch, you don't know how to shift, you don't know how to upshift or downshift, you know, and, and then uh, you're going to get into uh, one of these trucks and you're going to kill somebody. Uh, you're going to kill somebody because you don't know what you're doing, you weren't taught what you were doing. Right, that's if you can get a job and get into one of these trucks, which is highly unlikely because um, almost universally, right, and there's, there's a few exceptions here and there, um, but almost universally, no trucking company is going to accept you unless you have a year's worth of experience prior to coming to work for them. Get experience without getting a job, obviously. So there's a shortcut to getting that, that year's worth of experience or bypassing the year's worth of experience. And, and that shortcut is, is done in one of two ways. Right? First, either you get with a company like Millis that has their own training program. Right? And, and you go through their training program. If you go through their training program, then they'll waive the year's worth of experience and you come in as a student instead of an experienced driver. Right? So you come in for a, as a student, you sign a contract, you have to work for them for a year, they'll forgive half your loan, the rest of it comes out in payroll deductions uh, for your school. So that's the first way that you can bypass the restriction on having at least a year's worth of experience. The second way is very similar. You go to a private school, right? not a rent, a, a rent, um, a truck deal. You go to a school. It's a 160-hour school. Um, you go to a school, something like Roadmaster, or, or um, you know, I don't even know all of them. But there are several of them out there. You go to a community college and you go to a school. Weatherford, Texas, at Weatherford Community College. Um, Fort Walters and in Mineral Wells, they have a truck driving school. Uh, you can go there and you can take that truck driving school. Uh, when you complete that school, part of the process of going through that school is to get a pre-hire letter. A pre-hire letter from companies 
like Snyder or Prime, you know, or companies that will take you from a school, all right, they're not going to take you from a rent-a-truck because you don't know a fucking thing. They're going to take you from a 160-hour certified school because those schools are going to teach you everything that, that you need to know. And then a lot of these places will have a tuition assistance program where they'll pay part or all of your uh, tuition for the school back. Right? And so, um, you know, you could get in there and, you know, you've got to take the loan, you got to pay the loan out. But, you know, the company is going to help you with some or all of getting that money back. Um, you know, covering the cost of that. Uh, those companies do that. They're doing the exact same thing that Mellis is doing. Or Mellis is uh, having you come in and, and enter into their company by going through their school. Well, these companies like Prime and Snyder and a few others that will hire you out of school like that, they're doing the exact same thing. They're just not running the school. Right? They're going, they have a few certified schools that they'll hire from. You know, and if you, uh, if you get into those schools, Warner's another one, I believe. Well, Warner's another one where you go through one of those schools and, and get on board. Um, you know, and, and so you can bypass that time. But here's, here's the deal. You rent a truck, you know nothing about trucking. Nothing about logbooks. You know nothing about hours of service. You know nothing about the... Uh, the FMCSA, nothing about, um, you know, nothing about anything, I mean, nothing, absolutely nothing. You go through the school and they cover everything, they cover everything from doing a pre-trip inspection to, um, you know, to maintenance on the truck, they cover how to plan a route, they cover how to use your pop -com. they cover, uh, you know, every little aspect of trucking from hooking up to a load, to disconnecting from a load, to strapping a load in, to uh, tarping a load if you're, you know, if you're going with a flatbed company. You know, they, they cover everything uh, that you need to know from sliding your tandems to figuring out, you know, what kind of weights to put, you know, or, or where to put your tandems for what kind of weights that you're hauling. You know, they, they cover everything, everything that you need to know. And then by the time that, that you're done with school, well, then you're ready for the phase two part of the school. The phase two part of the school is going out with a trainer. You go out with a trainer for different times with different companies. You know, uh, I had a friend that just went through uh, Snyder's training program after getting out of a private uh, community college trucking school. Um, you know, and he went, he got, he went to a community college-based trucking school. Um, he passed that school, he got on with, with Snyder, he was out with the trainer for a week. You know, he came back and he did another few days worth of classroom work. You know, and his training was over. You go out with Mellis, it's 15,000 miles. And 15,000 miles can take you five weeks, it can take you about uh, 10 weeks, you know. And then that's just the minimum that, that uh, Mellis requires. That's not even the, the standard, but that's the minimum. And during that time that you're out with the trainer, or during that time that you're in their, um, you know, phase two school program, or whatever they call it, wherever you go, um, whenever you're in that part of the program, that's when you're learning uh, everything that you need to do by practical application. You know, you're learning how to work at Qualcomm because you have to work it every freaking day. You're learning, you know, what messages you have to send in. You know, you're learning... Uh, trip and the maintenance on the truck and you're getting familiar with the truck because you have to do it twice a day, every day. You know, you're looking at, uh, you know, you're learning about load securement because you're picking up loads and delivering loads every week. You know, you're learning about all these things. But here's the kicker. You know, you go to one of them fly-by-night, you know, rent a truck and get your CDL type places and you're never even going to get in the door. You're not going to get in the door because these trucking companies are putting you in, in equipment that can run $75,000 to $150,000. You know, you're carrying loads that you know could literally run up to a million dollars. You know, they're not going to put some somebody who has absolutely no experience into these things. If you think that these trucking companies don't know uh, what those uh, rent of Rent a truck places are, you got another thing going. Those dudes know what, what 
those places do. They know how they operate. You know, anybody with any sense knows how they operate. All you got to do is look at them on YouTube. You know, on YouTube, they, they sit there and lay out the whole program and exactly how it works. And, you know, and, and all a company has to know is that you have no driving experience, you have a CDL, and you have you have no documentation to show how you got that CDL. You know, you, you just went down to the DMV and you took a you took a test. I mean, they don't they don't know. I mean, maybe your your dad taught you. You know, and you went and took his his truck. Is your dad any good as a teacher? You know, who knows? Nobody knows, and that's the problem. You know, when you go to one of these certified schools, these certified schools have a reputation. They have a reputation for putting out, you know, decent drivers. You know, they, they've got a curriculum. The curriculum covers everything that they need. And the curriculum in all the schools is, is very similar. They have a very similar method of teaching everything that you need to learn. So, you know, if you uh, have gone to one of these certified schools, you know, you know prove that you've been to one of these certified schools, well then the company that's gonna, that's gonna consider putting you on knows the amount of education that you have. They have something by which to judge it. If you take a shortcut, and, and this is just fact, believe it or not, you can argue with me about it or not, but if you take a shortcut and you go to one of these fly-by-night rent-a-truck places, get your CDL by, by renting one of these automatic trucks with a 20-foot box trailer, and you expect to get a job, you are going to be sorely mistaken. What you're going to find is that this uh, industry is a pretty cutthroat industry. You will not get a job. It's not going to happen. What might happen is this. You'll pay $250 for your CDL, you'll go to a company and you'll say, hey, I've got a CDL, I want a job driving a truck, and they'll tell you, okay, here, uh, sign all this paperwork, go to our school for a refresher course, and then you can, you can have a job. Well, you know what a refresher course is? It's the exact same thing that a brand new student goes through. You go through 160 hours worth of class, and then you take your ass out with the trainer until that company's training policy is complete. So you're going to waste $250 going out to get a CDL just so you can spend more money going to a school that you have to go to anyway. So you might as well just go to the school to begin with and cut that $250 out. You're wasting your money, you're wasting your time, and, and you're not going to get anywhere. Now you go to one of these schools, you go to one of these rent-a-truck places and you get a CDL, you might get a job driving a box truck. The chances are pretty decent, you know, you can probably get a job driving a box truck. You know, uh, there's plenty of companies like uh, like uh, Rent-A-Center, you know, they use these 20-foot box trucks. They're always looking for people there. They'll hire you with a, with a CDL. You know, uh, you get that CDL, you can go to work for Rent-A-Center, you can go to work for, you know, any one of these companies that have, that use box trucks. I mean, they've got them in every city. They're all over the place. You know, you, you can drive a 20-foot box truck with it. You'll probably be able to get a job doing that because the truck you're driving is going to be very similar to the truck that you took your test in. And, you know, I mean, you don't even have to have a special license to drive a U-Haul. You can go out and you can get a 20-foot box truck U-Haul and you don't even have to have a special license for it. You just drive it. So, you know, it's not like you need any, any huge amount of skill, you know, to, to drive one of those trucks. I don't get me wrong, there is skill involved, and I'm not trying to down you know, people that drive those box trucks, you know, but it's not the type of skill that you need to drive one of these uh, 53 footers. And that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, it's a waste of time to, to go out and spend your money on one of these programs. You're cutting corners that a company is not going to let you cut, period. If you're wanting to get on as a truck driver, <laughs> There's not any company I can think of, you know, that would hire you if you got your license that way. I mean, it's just the way it is. It's the way this industry works. Uh, you don't have to believe me. I mean, you could be a new student, a new person out there with no truck driving experience. In one and a quarter miles, you keep you left to I-70 West. You can say that I'm wrong, and you can say, hey, I'm, I'm going to try it anyway, and I'm going to do it. And all i got to say to you then is, is uh, you know, more power to you. Uh, I 
wish you luck, and I wish you luck, and, uh, you know, and I hope that, that you find something, you know, some kind of employment before you go bankrupt. Uh, you know, that's, that's what I got to say about it. Uh, another thing I got to say about it is if you watch this video and you still choose to, to take that route, then don't complain to me later and say, oh man, I messed up, you know, and I, I did this, I told you.